is going on guys? Ben checking in. Welcome to Mint, where we bring nursing to you. In today's video, we're going to be practicing some ABGs. Now, if you guys haven't watched the first ABG video, I highly recommend you watch that first. I'm going to leave a link in the description below, or you can click this link so you guys can watch the video. So for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Here in Magic and Nursing Team, we literally bring nursing to you. We talk about different topics in nursing, and if you find our videos helpful, make sure you hit the like button and also that subscribe button so that other viewers can view our videos. So, if you're ready, I'm ready, let's go. Hello guys, so today we're gonna do ABG Interpretation Practice Edition. We're gonna be looking at ABG examples and interpret them one by one. Again, if you haven't watched our ABG video, there's a link in the description below. I highly recommend you watch that first before going into this video. So let's get right to it with example number one. We have a pH of 7.10 a CO2 of 50, and a bicarbonate of 24. The very first step that we have to do is to identify whether this is acidosis or alkalosis. So we look at the pH right here, and it's 7.10. The normal range is 7.35 to 7.45, so we know that this is acidosis. Now, the second step is to identify what is causing the acidosis problem. So first, we look at the CO2. The CO2 is 50, and we know that the normal range for the CO2 is 35 to 45. So we know for a fact that this is the reason why we're having acidosis. So we can put here respiratory acidosis. Now the third step is to figure out whether there is compensation or no compensation. So we look at the bicarbonate and the bicarbonate is 24. It didn't go out of the normal range to try to compensate with the respiratory acidosis. So we know there is no compensation. So let's go to the next uh, example. pH is 7.30, CO2 is 48, and bicarbonate is 30. So we know automatically this is acidosis. CO2 is 48. The normal range for CO2 is 35 to 45. So we'll put here respiratory acidosis. Now, let's see if there's compensation or not. The bicarbonate is 30. So we know that because there is respiratory acidosis, the body tried to compensate by increasing the amount of bicarbonate in the system. We know that there's compensation. Now the final step is to figure out whether this is a full compensation or partial compensation. Was the compensation enough to bring the pH back to the normal range? No. So we know that this is a partial compensation. All right. Next one, same thing. So pH is 7.37, CO2 is 47, and bicarbonate is 29. Now, we'll look at the pH. So the pH is 7.37. Now remember, 7.37 belong to the acidotic side. So I'm gonna put here acidosis and note the letter N because it's normal. So now we're gonna try to figure out whether it's metabolic or respiratory that's causing the acidosis. So we'll look at our CO2 and the CO2 is slightly elevated. What's causing the acidosis is the elevated CO2. You can put here respiratory acidosis. Now, is there compensation or not? Well, let's check. Bicarbonate is 29. Now, the body recognized that there is respiratory acidosis and it tried to compensate by increasing the amount of bicarbonate in the system. There is compensation. Was the compensation enough to bring the pH back to normal? The pH is 7.37. That's within the normal range. So this is a full compensation. So the next example, 7.48 is the pH. The CO2 is 30 and the bicarb is 23. So looking at the pH, this is 7.48. Number one, it's alkalosis. Now we look at the cause of the alkalosis. Well, CO2 is low. So normal CO2 is 35 to 45. So right there and there, we know for a fact that what's causing the alkalosis is the low CO2. So this is respiratory alkalosis. Now is there compensation? Let's check. Bicarbonate is 23. This is a no compensation. All right, let's go to the next. pH is 7.50, CO2 is 45 and bicarbonate is 32. 7.50 shows that this is alkalosis. Let's see what's causing the alkalosis problem. Let's look at the CO2. CO2 is 35 to 45 and the CO2 is 45. 
So is this what's causing the alkalosis? No. So let's look at our bicarb. Bicarbonate is 32, and the normal range is 22 to 26. So we know that what's causing the alkalosis is the bicarbonate. So this is metabolic alkalosis. Or is there compensation or no? So let's look at our CO2. CO2 is 45. It's still within normal range. So there is no compensation on this problem. All right, so we're going to keep going. So pH is 7.43, CO2 is 32, and bicarbonate is 19. The 7.43 belong to the alkalotic side. So this is alkalosis, but note the letter N, okay? Because this is normal. This is normal. Now let's see what's causing the alkalosis. So this is a low CO2. So we know that what's causing the alkalosis is respiratory. Now let's see whether there's compensation or not. The bicarbonate is 19. We know that the body detected the respiratory alkalosis and it tried to compensate by reducing the number of bicarbonate. Now, was the compensation enough to bring the pH back to normal? Yes, so we know that this is a full compensation. So what we have here is a respiratory alkalosis with full compensation. So next is pH is 7.35, CO2 is 32, and bicarbonate is 19. 7.35, that is within the normal range, although this belonged to the acidotic side. So acidosis. Was the CO2 the reason why there is acidosis? 35 to 45, and this is 32. So no, this is not what's causing the acidosis. Now let's look at the bicarbonate. And the bicarb is 19. Normal range is 22 to 26. So we know that what's causing the acidosis is the decreased amount of bicarb in the system. So we know that this is metabolic acidosis. Now was there any compensation or not? Let's look at the CO2. The CO2 is low. The body detected that there is metabolic acidosis and it tried to compensate by reducing the amount of CO2 in the system. So we know that there's compensation and since the compensation was enough to bring the pH back to normal, this is a full compensation. And that's it. Well, that is it for today, guys. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. By doing this, our video will go straight to you. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when we upload new videos. Once again, my name is Ben and Mint, signing out.